The Pioneer Clips Polished Maintenance Program requires a list of supplies. Pioneer Clips Hard Floor Polishing Machine, Diamond Discs, Hardcore Densifying Treatment, Top Shield Hard Floor Protector, Reclaim Hard Floor Cleaner and Maintainer, Power Polish HT Pads or Level S Diamond Pads, an Automatic Scrubber, a UHS Floor Burnisher, a Mop and a Mop Bucket, a Floor Squeegee, two Low Pressure Pump Sprayers, a Microfiber Applicator, two Synthetic Microfiber Pads. Prior to beginning any polishing process, all pre-existing topical sealers and coatings must be thoroughly removed from the floor. Follow the manufacturer's guidelines for sealer and coating removal. Inspect the floor for any floor anchors, bolts, or other obstructions. Obstructions must be removed, ground flush to the floor surface, or recessed with a hammer and punch prior to beginning the polishing process. Failure to do so may damage the diamond discs, damage the floor, or create a potential safety hazard. Isolate the area to be polished to prevent pedestrian traffic. The features and capabilities of Pioneer Eclipse hard floor polishing machines vary by model and each may require a slightly different setup or operating procedure. Refer to your model's operator's manual for detailed instructions. There are five steps in the rejuvenation process. Step one, attach the repair diamond discs to the driver on the machine. Ensure that the hook and loop attachment is secure and that each diamond sits flush within the holder. Set the engine speed to grind. Turn the water flow on. Polish the floor at a slow walking pace, stepping over one quarter width of the machine with each pass. After the first pass is made, alternate the direction of the machine to create a crosshatch pattern. For example, north-south followed by east-west. Depending on the type of machine used and the condition of the floor, anywhere from two to six passes may be required. Use an automatic scrubber to pick up the solution and scrub the floor with clean water. Step two, you're going to replace the repair diamond discs with the prep diamond discs, ensuring again that the hook and loop attachment is secure and that each diamond sits flush within the holder. All other settings and procedures are the same as in step one. Step three, this is a densifying treatment application. Using a low pressure pump sprayer, apply hardcore densifying treatment to the floor at an approximate coverage rate of 350 square feet per gallon. Use a microfiber applicator to spread the product and ensure uniform coverage. Keep the floor surface wet for 20 to 30 minutes reapplying product as necessary. Use an automatic scrubber to scrub the floor with clean water and vacuum up any remaining solution. Step four is the polishing process. Attach the polish number one diamond disc to the driver on the machine. Ensure that the hook and loop attachment is secure and that each diamond sits flush within the holder. Set the engine speed to polish. Turn the water flow on. Polish the floor at a slow walking pace, stepping over one quarter width of the machine with each pass. After the first pass is made, alternate the direction of the machine to create a crosshatch pattern. For example, north-south followed by east-west. Depending on the type of machine used and the condition of the floor, two to four passes may be required. Replace the polish number one diamond discs with the polish number two diamond discs, repeating the same setting and procedures used with the previous diamonds. As an option, Repeat the same process using the polish number three and number four diamond discs until the desired gloss level has been achieved. Between each of these polishing procedures, use an automatic scrubber to pick up the solution and scrub the floor with clean water. Allow the floor to dry thoroughly. Ensure that the floor is completely dry. Using a low pressure pump sprayer, apply a thin, even coat of Top Shield hard floor protector to the floor at an approximate coverage rate of 4,000 square feet per gallon. Use a microfiber applicator to spread the product and ensure uniform coverage. Important, do not over apply Top Shield hard floor protector. Allow the product to dry thoroughly, approximately 15 to 30 minutes. Repeat the process to apply a second coat of Top Shield Hard Floor Protector. Burnish with a Power Polish HT Pad or a 3000 grit diamond impregnated pad. Daily Maintenance Procedures Clean the floor with Reclaim Hard Floor Cleaner and Maintainer at the recommended dilution ratio. 
If using an automatic scrubber, use a soft red or white cleaning pad. Important, concrete floors are pH sensitive and can be damaged by acidic cleaning products. Burnish the floor using a Power Polish HT or 3000 grit diamond floor pad. Daily burnishing will significantly prolong gloss levels and aid in the removal of minor surface scratches. Periodic maintenance procedures. When the desired appearance level is not achieved after following the daily maintenance procedures, burnish the floor using a 3000 grit or higher diamond floor pad. If this process does not give the desired appearance level, use a low pressure pump sprayer to apply a thin, even coat of top shield hard floor protector to the floor at an approximate coverage rate of 4000 square feet per gallon. Use a microfiber applicator to spread the product to ensure uniform coverage. Do not over apply top shield hard floor protector. Allow the product to dry thoroughly, which takes approximately 15 to 30 minutes. Burnish with a Power Polish HT pad or a 3000 grit diamond impregnated pad. Periodic rejuvenation procedures. Depending on a variety of conditions, including traffic patterns, daily soiling, staining, and the inherent integrity of the floor, periodic maintenance procedures may no longer give the desired appearance. In those cases, First, repeat step four from the rejuvenation process using the appropriate polished diamonds to achieve the desired look. Then repeat step five, applying Top Shield Floor Protector. Stain Remediation Procedures. First, isolate the area where stains are located. Then we're going to repeat the rejuvenation procedures. First, step one, polish with the repair diamonds. Step two, polish the area with the prep diamonds. And step three, apply hardcore densifying treatment to the repaired area. Then repeat step four of the rejuvenation process using the polish number one and the polish number two diamonds. As part of this process, expand the area that you're polishing beyond the immediate stained area in order to blend the appearance to the surrounding floor. Repeat step five, applying top shield floor protector to the larger area that has been polished in order to blend the appearance. Then burnish with a Power Polish HT pad or a 3000 grit diamond impregnated pad. If you have any questions about Pioneer Eclipse concrete machines or polishing procedures, feel free to contact us at pioneereclipse.com.